This is the battery system that I'm currently using on my truck topper that I built for my 1994 Ford Ranger. In this video, we're gonna be covering everything from how much it costs to how much power it produces, what I charge on it, how long everything lasts, how long it takes to charge, and how you can set it up, how simple it is, and really how little knowledge you need of solar and battery to get this set up and get out there camping for yourself. I think this is a great item for a beginner to get out there, a perfect setup, uh, not spend too much money. So stick around, at the end of the video we're gonna be going over exactly how much it does cost. And for now, let's get right into the details. So we're gonna start with the solar panel here. It uh, unzips in the front and we have the cable and as well as some adapters to plug into different kind of batteries, different setups. But for this setup, we actually just use the cable that it comes with. It goes directly from the battery into the solar panel. So there's none of the adapters needed. It hooks up right here into this little DC output. And there's also a USB output. So it looks like you can get some charging directly from your phones right off of this panel, which is really nice. It is a 40 watt. It has a 14 volt, 2 point amp output and it weighs two kilograms. All right, so checking it out, it unclips on the top, which is real sleek design. It is only a couple inches thick, folded up just like a little briefcase. It does fold all the way out into four 10 watt panels, which makes up 40 watts altogether. And you can see here, it lays across almost my entire tailgate. And these guys do charge in the rain, they charge in the clouds, they charge in the sun, obviously the best, but we do like them a lot. This is the monocrystalline panel. So to charge the battery, we just plug it on in right here. I'm gonna attempt this left-handed and got it. And then we just grab the other side of the cable right here. We don't need any of those adapters for this one since this is the one that they, it's actually meant for. And we just come and plug it right in here where it says input. And then once we do that, and we put the panel out in the sun, which also works in the shade, like I mentioned, doesn't really matter, but the sun is the best. It's gonna start charging up this battery. With full sun, it does take about eight hours to get the full charge on the battery, so keep that in mind. And as you can see, these panels are very convenient. You put them wherever you want. I can grab this whole setup with my left hand and move it around. So you got Frankie right here. He's on the trail of something good. Oh, maybe it's me. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe it's these panels. Oh, he's checking them out. He likes them. He thinks they're good. They will also charge your dog, but there is a special plug for that. And I do not recommend trying it at home. Taking a look at the battery now, it's a nice, sleek, compact design again, very portable. It is a 300 watt battery. It's got that 15 volt, 2.4 amp input for DC, which can be plugged into the solar panel. It can be plugged into a wall. Both of those take eight hours to charge. It can also be plugged into your vehicle, which takes about 10 hours to charge. And once it's charged up, you got four USB ports and you have two plugins for regular wall chargers, which everything can be ran at once. Or you can come over here and when you see as we turn it on there's a button for the AC power right there you turn that on and it plugs in the wall plugins just like you would at home and then you come over here and you got the DC power you hit that button that goes down and turns on your four USB ports as well as that left plug-in for the DC 12 volt output now this little button right here ties into those two things on the back let me show you they're actually a super bright LED lights now I've lit it up at night inside the camper. They work phenomenal. They've got a couple different modes, which I don't know why I would never use them. But I guess at night in an emergency, it could come in handy. But that is built right into it. So it's got the plugins, pretty much six plugins, battery set up. And uh, together with this solar panel, you can pretty much be off the grid for a little while and still have power. Now I've just been using it to charge my phone, turn on the lights, and do my laptop a little bit. And so far I've used it about three or four weekend trips without having to charge it at one time. I even ran a circle saw on it for about 15 minutes and as you can see I still got one bar left. So I don't know how an exact time, but it's quite a bit. But now that we have this solar panel, and it says it takes about eight hours to charge from that, we're gonna do this for the first time so that we can get nice and charged up directly from the sun. Now again, this battery is a 300 watt battery and this solar panel is a 40 watt solar panel. So it does take eight hours to charge just like it does on the wall. It, it comes with separate chargers for the wall and everything like that. So you don't need to worry about it. Nothing separate to buy. The battery comes with all the plugins that it needs and the solar panel comes with all the plugins that it needs. Now the reason you probably watched to the end of this video is you're wondering how much the cost. So this battery runs about $150 on Amazon 
give or take, depending on what the deal is going for. And this solar panel ran me 55 bucks, normally 75, but I got a $20 discount just for some reason for that day. So it's not bad to be invested all in for about 225 bucks to have a full solar set, uh, setup that you can be off grid, camp in, and not break the bank. Make sure you click on the link down in the description to check out both of these items on Amazon. You can purchase them there below. There's a couple good deals going on right now. I don't know, by the time you watch this video, they might not be there. So get on there and check them out while they last. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to get out there, go camping this weekend. I got my battery charging up on the solar panel. So I'm happy as can be. If you guys like this video and you want to see a little more details about how I built this truck camper, make sure you like and subscribe and check out all the other videos on my page. They'll give you a full in-depth details on how I built it, why I built it, and everything in between. Thank you guys. See you next time.